All right, if we start with our information, 80 billion, so that's 80, here's 1,000, million, billion. Okay, and so you know that each one of these is half an inch thick, right? So you can either multiply it by 0.5 or you can divide it by 2. I'm going to go ahead and multiply it by just 0.5 inches. Okay, and now you need to convert out of inches. So what's the conversion that you know for inches? 12, 12 inches is foot. 1 foot. So we convert it out of inches. Now we're in feet. We have a conversion for feet and miles, which is? 5280 feet. That goes in the denominator, so the units feet cancel is one mile. So here would be our answer in terms of miles. And so we can calculate this. So I look at this calculation. We have 80 billion times 0.5. Again, if you had a decimal or if you had a fraction, you might say divided by two, but times 0.5, and then divided by 12, and then divided by 5280. Okay, and I get my solution of 631,313.13 continuing miles. Okay, so that would be how tall that stack would be. And so if you compare this to the distance from the moon, which is 240,000 miles, we can subtract 240,000 and we get a difference of 391,313 miles. Okay, and so that would be our second part. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, um, another way that I saw that people solve this was if they said 80 billion hamburgers at half an inch thick is a total of 40 billion inches, right? So if you took 40 billion inches and you wrote that, so 40 and then you typed in inches, so units go to length down to inches and I could convert that into feet, I'm sorry, into miles so I'm just going to go ahead and go underscore mi, so I'll use the alpha key into miles and when I do, I see that my answer is the same thing, right? So you can let the calculator convert it, or you can write out the conversions on your own. All right. So let's take a look at this second set of problems. I'm going to do the first couple and have you test the last one. Okay, so this is basically asking you to see, it says a pint is a pound the world round. So is that a true statement? Is a pint of any liquid going to measure or weigh about one pound? And so let's take this first instance. It says that a gallon of water weighs 8.33 pounds. Okay, so if we start with that, that is a conversion by itself. One gallon is equivalent to 8.33 pounds. Okay, and let's see if we can... Uh, oops. So that is our conversion. We want to keep that in mind. That's going to be one of the conversions we use. It asks, how many pounds does one pint weigh? So there is what we're going to start with. We start with one pint. Okay, and so let's convert out of this. If you look at the conversion factors they give you, it says two pints is in a quart. So pints will go on the denominator, so they cancel. So one quart is equal to two pints. That unit cancels. The next conversion is four quarts per gallon. So four quarts is equivalent to one gallon, so the quarts cancel. And then finally we have our conversion from gallons. It says one gallon of water weighs 8.33 pounds. The gallons cancel. So if we multiply through, we get 8.33 along the top. Divided by, in the bottom we have 2 times 4, so a total of 8 in the denominator. And we hit enter, we see it's 1.04 pounds. Okay, so is this make that statement seem true? Yeah, this pint, a pint of water is approximately one pound. Okay, let's do the same thing for uh, milk. Okay, so see if you can do a, your own calculation as a group or individually, and to see can you confirm that milk is approximately one pound using the information from Part B. 
it says that um, when you're looking at this, uh, how many pounds does a pint of milk weigh? So once again, if you're looking one pint is equivalent to one quart per two pints, which is equivalent to one gallon per four quarts. Okay, and then the conversion that we have here is uh, 53 pounds is equivalent to 6.2 gallons. So 6.2 gallons is in the denominator, 53 pounds in the numerator. There is our conversion factor for that's individual for this particular problem. And so now if we calculate that, so across the top, all we have is a 53 and in, in the denominator. Now, anytime you're doing multiple calculations in the denominator of a fraction, my suggestion is put it in grouping symbols. It makes it easier and you don't have to try to coordinate what's what. So in my denominator, I know I'm going to take a 2, a 4, and a 6.2 and multiply them together. So in grouping symbols, so in a parenthesis, I'll take 2 times 4 times 6.2, close that off. When I hit enter, because I'm in auto mode, it'll give me my answer in decimal form since I used a decimal in my uh, entry. And that's what I want anyway. So I get uh, 1.069 approximately pounds. So is that approximately one pound? Yeah, that's pretty close. So this statement holds true for both water and milk. Hey, let's take a look and see does it hold true for gasoline. And I'm just kind of going to kind of go through this one. Okay, so we want one pint of gasoline times one quart over two pints times one gallon over four quarts. Okay, so here's converting out of pints into gallons. So we have one gallon weighs 2.84 kilograms. So one gallon of gas is equivalent to 2.84 kilograms. Okay, and so we have one additional uh, uh, conversion here, and that's one kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. And so now we can do our calculation to check for this statement. So across the top, I have 2.84 times 2.2. And then I'm going to divide that by, and I just have 2 times 4, which I know the answer, so I can just leave it as 8. And so when I calculate this, I get 0.781 pounds. Is that 1 pound? No, 